Hey, so it is here once again the day that uh, black stars is taking on egypt is here yes it is today and uh, guys we are ready we are poised even though some people are making some predictions saying that oh ghana will lose ghana will do this i have faith in the black stars i believe the ghanian uh, boys are that because we do justice to the uh, game and i know they will be able to win this very game uh, this even eight PM and I know I believe them. Guys, let's trust these boys. Let's trust them. They will go and perform for us. No, for them, they that's their work and they are uh, always ready to give us the needed win and the needed support. And I, I have seen that there will be a lot of changes in, in, in the system. Okay, but there will be few changes that will come into the starting lineup that I'm here to tell you about it after uh, the last training session, which was held yesterday in Ivory Coast. Uh, Coach uh, Chris Hilton and uh, his technical, you know, backroom staff, and that is uh, Marcel Didi Dramani and uh, another one that is uh, George Barton. Okay, a lot of people complain about these two guys that they are not helping Chris Hilton. A lot of people are saying that uh, Chris Hilton too don't listen to these two uh, technical men. But I, I don't know. Let's let's move. Let's move. Okay, let's talk about the technical issue after the you know after the game. They will know how to tell them if they don't perform well. Then we will send them our message. When they perform well, we will still send them our message. So this is it. Can you subscribe to the channel? Let's talk about the Black Star players. Let's talk about the team. And also, don't forget uh, share the video. And also, don't forget to uh, also subscribe to the channel. Follow us. We are on Facebook, is Bedu TV. We are on Instagram, is Bedu TV. We are on TikTok, is Bedu uh, TV3. Okay. Uh, TV6, where well, TikTok is Bedu TV6. Follow us on all uh, social media handles and we will do it to follow you back. Okay. So, you know, the last time that Ghana played against uh, Egypt in the uh, African Cup of Nations was 2017, uh, where Ghana uh, lost 1 0 to Egypt. Okay. So the first time Ghana also played against Egypt in the AFCON was uh, that is uh, 1970 where the game ended 1-1. Uh, okay, 1992 Ghana beat Egypt and uh, 19 uh, that's a 2017 Egypt also beat Ghana. So the three meetings in the AFCON has been uh, Ghana winning one, uh, Egypt also winning one, then one draw. Okay, so today is a must win. Okay, a must win with uh, only a win in three games today is a must win for the blasters of ghana okay so it's exactly two years ago today okay in cameroon yes comoros beat ghana okay exactly two years ago today today makes the exactly two years ago that uh comoros beat ghana and ghana were kicked out from the group stages of uh 2020 uh that's a 2021 african cup of nations in cameroon okay so Today, yes, today, yes, it is today that uh, Egypt must fall and Egypt will fall today, no matter what happens. Today, Egypt will fall and they must, and it's a must that they will fall. Okay, so uh, let's check out the lineup that Ghana will be using. Okay, so the last matter against Cape uh, Verde. Okay, so this was the lineup where Richard Ofoy was in the post, uh, Denis Odoi, uh, Mohamed Salisu, Ransford Yeboah. On uh, Dosfa, okay, he was also in the game, and uh, we had Majid Ashmero, Jordan Ayu, Joseph Pento, Gideon Mensa, Alexandra Juku, and uh, we have Antoine Semenyon, then we have Baba Idrisu. So, these were the uh, lineup for Ghana against Cape Verde, and uh, a lot of changes, a little bit of changes were done uh, during the game when Ghana started to you know picking up the form, then they, they, uh, they took the Semenyon out to oh, those players who were coming into the game uh, then everything changed okay so now coming into this very one uh there will be slight change like two or three changes that will be happening in the game so let me share with you how it's going to be you know this coach is for me his formula is just one back up four two three one what is here four two three one four two three one four two three one that is how he always plays so let's see if there will be any change but uh from what i've seen and everything is likely that that is going to be the same one but the personnel were a little bit 
uh, different chain. And the same thing, Richard Ofori will still be in the post. No, there's no way about that. There's no two ways about that. It's only one way, yes. And uh, it is this way. And once I said Richard Ofori will be in the post, then Gideon uh, Mensa, Gideon Mensa will be at the left side. Then Salusu and Juku will continue to be the two center uh, pair. Okay, then we have Ali Dusedu come in for Dane. So they, they didn't see, uh, they didn't play well the last time against Cape Verde. So he was one of the weakest players in our team against Cape Verde. So I think they, uh, there's a uh, Sedu will come in, Ali Sedu will come in. But you know, Ali Sedu, his favorite position and his normal position is a center back. But when it comes to Ghana, we normally play him at the right back. So let's see how today it goes. Okay, so the double pivot will be uh, Saleh Samed and also Ashimero. So these two guys will be the double pivot. It means that Baba Idrusu will not start the game so that is it okay so this is a double pivot then the three uh, up front okay the three will be uh in nike williams will be at the uh, left side of the attack and uh though we are seeing things and the way we have been hearing the cruise moment uh train very well uh that is uh during the week and uh giving uh green light we have seen him so uh, they have been using him in the flyers of ghana uh black star they are friday are using him so definitely uh, it means that cruz will be in the lineup uh, for ghana so cruz will be the number 10 behind the main striker then joseph Pinto will be at the right side so Pinto and uh, williams will be like they will interchange place more than come here small then the up front the arrowhead will continue to be that is a seminar will be the up front okay so this is the ideal line up i do line up for the black stars but you know chris hilton sometimes he will do this uh during the training then match day he will switch to different uh lineup okay so if uh something if there will be any change it means that nike will be the arrowhead then we will have Jordan now you being at the uh, left side then joseph pentel will continue to be at the right side so this will be a little bit changes if there will be any change it means that uh Semenyo will not start and uh Nike will be the arrowhead then jordan you will be at the right side so this is how uh it's going to be okay but it is that's the only switch that might happen okay in today's lineup uh the only uh bad scenario will be that jordan you will come in for seven years, then Nike will be the arrowhead so this is the uh, lineup this is the ideal lineup and i believe that chris Hilton will not disappoint to uh parade this very strong side 8 p.m live on this channel we continue to do it and we will do everything possible to bring everything uh here on this very channel so subscribe to the channel here's a notification but share the video to your friends like comment and let me know what you think about what is going on in every call so it's a big game today two big matches yeah nigeria taking on africa ghana taking on egypt and very nice game on this very channel as well let's meet another time bye bye for now bye